Welcome to our homestead friends. I wanted to bring you into the shop today to talk about something that's often overlooked when you are prepping or preparing on your homestead. Let's talk about it. And what I'm talking about are items that are consumable. So items to repair other equipment on your homestead. These things often get overlooked and they are getting very expensive. Now by no means is this list in this video today an exhaustive list. I want you to add a comment in the comment section below if you believe there is a consumable that needs to be not stockpiled but have a decent supply of it on your homestead. Now one of the most important things that I picked up recently and I picked up a lot of them are repair couplings for PVC. All of our lines here for our water on our property are PVC. And I've cut a couple of them recently digging for around for new things because I just didn't know where they were. So these used to be four, three and four dollars respectively not that long ago, maybe just two years. And now that was eight and that was 10 bucks. That is out of control. So I want you to go out and start picking up a lot of these things if these are relevant to your homestead. Grab extra couplings, grab extra pipe, just so you have it in case of an emergency because we all know water is life on your homestead. So if you don't have that working properly, you've got an issue. Now, of course, along with those repair couplings comes motors. So if you have a deep well and you've got a well pump, I'd suggest you might wanna buy one as a backup, another one as a backup because if that one goes out and the price is going up astronomically and one week it's 500 bucks and the next week it's 1,000, I'd recommend you probably spend a little extra money now and get that $500 pump instead of waiting and having to pay money that you might not have for water, which is essential. So in terms of water, I've always got extra repair couplings for hoses, obviously the PVC and valves. And if you're repairing PVC pipe, you need glue. And for the threads, you're gonna need some pipe dope. Now, unfortunately, these things are perishable and they do not last long, especially this PVC glue. It gels up pretty quick, even if you keep it in a good, stable uh, temperature environment. We keep ours in the house, not out here in the barn. That one, I haven't been able to figure out how to overcome over time. And I don't have any galvanized steel pipe for an emergency. Maybe I could pick some of that up. Should I pick up copper? It's astronomical in price right now. Maybe that might be a good idea. I do have a little bit of copper on hand to make any repairs in the house. And I've also got extra propane for the torch and extra solder and flux. Still in the package. We haven't used it yet, but I've got backup. Now this video really has to do with modern homesteading because there are the old ways, which are very good, and I need to learn better also. The old school ways that you don't need a lot more than just a few tools to be able to survive on your homestead, build, garden, and all of that. I'm excited to get into that in the future. Maybe a little old school blacksmithing, I'm not sure. Stay tuned to the channel for that. Now something that can be very handy are tapes. I've got a lot of different tape, duct tape, painter's tape, electrical tape. <clears throat> it really doesn't go bad. It, uh, this electrical tape can go up, but it will stay around forever. And having that in an emergency for a quick repair is essential. So something that's often overlooked that is essential and is consumable are files and sharpening stones. All of those wear out over time, especially files. And if you're sharpening your own blades so you don't have to keep extra blades on hand, then you're going to need a lot of files. And if you're relying on your ax to produce firewood for yourself, you're going to need something to sharpen that with. Also, obviously, if you use a chainsaw, you need a chainsaw chain sharpener. And I'd recommend keeping an extra chain or two on hand. Along with that comes sandpaper. Sandpaper is consumable. It is very handy in a lot of different situations to clean things up. I use sandpaper to clean battery terminals. I use sandpaper if I don't have a wire brush, which I do. But sandpaper can use, be used to clean the ends of PVC in the repair if you need to use a hacksaw and you don't have one of those ratcheting cutters. And if you have an essential tool that has blades that really can't be sharpened, pick up some extra blades. 
Now the more expensive blades are better. Absolutely, the steel is better. These Harbor Freight blades aren't that great, but I've got a bunch of them just sitting around, just in case. You need to weigh the cost in buying one Diablo blade or buying 10 Harbor Freight blades. That's up to you to make that decision. Now, of course, everybody talks about storing fuel for your equipment. And if things get rough or fuel gets out of control in cost, that's a finite resource. But if you have enough fuel on hand and it's stable, then you are going to need backup spark plugs, filters, everything you need to keep your engines running. Obviously that includes oil, but oils and lubricants are really important for all of your other equipment. March in oil, household oil, little WD-40, these go a long way and not too many people have a decent stock of it. And of course, the price is going up. Now for us down here in Texas, there is something very important. And especially since I have kids and they're a little bit allergic to things like this, that's wasp spray. I have a lot of this. Why? Because killing them in other ways is difficult, especially the red wasps. They don't really react too much to Dawn dish soap and water. They're almost able to shake off stuff like this. And of course, I always have a lot of different soaps as backup. Dawn and the organic cell suds. Now I know it goes without saying, but having fasteners, screws, and nails is super important especially if you have to do repairs to any structure on the property. And of course, having some extra wood is important. So I know you want to build the next project, but having wood in reserve, and you know how expensive that is now, is really, really crucial. Because if you've got a limb that falls on your house and it's only you out on your homestead and nobody else coming to help before the next storm pours water through your roof, you better start building. You better have maybe some extra shingles and a tarp also. Something else that is often overlooked are extra handles for hammers, equipment, garden tools, whatever it is. These are important because if you break one and you don't have good quality straight trees to be able to manufacture something like this yourself, then you've got an issue. Now you can make handles out of other species, no problem, but of course, with its grain and its strength, American hickory is the best. Now, something I forgot to talk about when I was talking about having extra filters and spark plugs for your engines are extra parts. And these are common parts that wear out in everything. As you can see, these are for my uh, Husky chainsaw and it's good to have something on hand just in case. Something else also so often overlooked are sealants paints and caulks, or this is actually a sealant. And that is because we all know water is the enemy of your house and structures. So having something to seal up a leak is super important. Now, do things like this go bad over time? Yes, they do, but their longevity is quite impressive. They can stay around for years and years with no issue. Unlike the PVC glues, which really don't last that long at all. Getting down to the end of this list are items to repair the electricity in your home. Extra outlets, extra switches, extra wire, which is getting super expensive. So I'd have more of this on hand just in case you have any repairs or additions that you need to do in the house. On top of that, things like butt connectors and fuses, whatever you need for your specific homestead to be able to make a repair is important. Last but not least is cordage and wire. Cordage for obvious reasons, so you can tie things down and uh, hold things down. Wire is the same deal, but obviously a little bit different use. If you're repairing fencing in the garden, whatever it is, have different types of wire for repairs. I know I said important about 15 times, and I know this list isn't exhaustive, but it is because of our current economic situation and that I do not see getting any better. So friends, I've done other videos on tools and we all know how important it is to have the proper tools to be able to repair things utilizing the consumables we just talked about. So we're not gonna talk about that in this video. Friends, it's my desire to help you with these videos on topics that might not be covered out there that much. 
Each homestead is going to be unique, so you are gonna to have to tailor these things to what you need. But hopefully, this gives you a base to start with. Now go check out this video right here, which talks about homesteading skills that you need to acquire right now. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.